hey you guys it's me and i'm back with another video so this video in particular is the 15 ways to keep a woman and the reason why i decided to do a video like this is because i feel like i'm not saying that you know men are crazy you're not crazy i'm just kidding <laughs> okay but i'm not saying that men are crazy i'm just saying is that everybody you know has strong suits and then has bad suits so i kind of and i'm not speaking for every woman because i'm not every woman you know what i mean but i can say based off friends people i know you know uh similar situations that i've shared with people like what is acceptable and what's not acceptable so this is geared more towards man this video this is for you guys i'm trying to help you guys out i want to see strong relationships strong foundations i want to see marriages again i want to see committed relationships i want to see things where you know like we're doing better as a society as a human race i feel like we are so um terrorized not terrorized what's the word we are so behind um as far as you know like we just degrade each other and we bring each other down and we're just not great to each other so I just wanted to kind of give my little input on how we could maybe do things a little differently. So, uh, I want to start off with number one. The first thing is communication. I feel like communication is the one of the most important things in a relationship because when you think about it, you have to communicate to your partner. I think the last video explained up front, like, hey, you know... I just want sex or I want a long-term relationship or I, I want kids one day. You really need to communicate like what your future goals are and you need to communicate what you expect from someone. So I feel like that's always like the first step in even dealing with someone. But when you're in a relationship and you're dealing with someone, I feel like communication is key because no one can read anyone's mind. Everyone needs to like, you know, you know what I mean? Like you're not going to know what that guy's thinking. He's not going to know what you're thinking. So it's like, the best thing um, in a relationship is communication, is to kind of just tell people where you stand and what you want. Um, the second thing that I have down is that five love languages are very, very important, okay? So there's five love languages, and I'm going to make a video about this shortly, but five in the five love languages, there is gift giving and receiving, there's uh, words of affirmation, there's communication, there is quality time, and there is physical touch. So I was married to someone and his was physical touch and I wasn't physical touch as much. So I remember that a lot of times he didn't feel love because I was never touching him. I never let him touch me. I was like, oh, don't touch me and stuff like that. But mine's is more of like um, communication and quality time. So it's like, we don't necessarily have to touch, but you know, as long as we're talking and we're communicating and as long as, you know, we're spending quality time with each other, then I'm perfectly fine. And really, I feel like I have four of the five love languages, but we're not gonna get into that. So I feel like it's very important to look into love languages and try to figure out what kind of love language your partner has and what kind of love language that you have. And that's when the communication comes in. So once you know, like, hey, you know, my love language is I like, you know, gift giving and receiving. If I don't get gifts or give gifts, I feel unloved, unappreciated. So you need to let your partner know kind of like, what you like you know what i mean and get them into reading the book there's a book called the five love languages check it out um and then also i'm gonna i'll put a description in the bottom so that you can kind of look into the love languages but i feel like love languages it's important to know your love language your partner's love language so you are able to give and receive love and feel equal or feel appreciated both ways around it's not like one person's just getting all this time and the other person doesn't feel like uh, it's just hard to explain but you get the gist okay so then I feel like attention is very important for some women, you know, like they don't want necessarily a man who uh, acts like they don't exist. Like, you know, I was speaking to someone, one of my friends, and he was like, oh, the way to keep a woman is, you know, you just give her, you just give her a whole bunch of attention one time and then, and then back off. Another time, I was like, oh, some women will take that and be naive and be like, okay, I'm going to fight for him because he's not fighting. But some women also have self-respect. And not self-respect, but some women just handle things differently. It's like me, if a man ignored me, make me feel like I have to question his intentions and I'm out. So um, attention is very important. I feel like for women, you know, it's good to call them every day. Like check on them a few times out the day, you know, like, you know, just text every so often. Call every so often. Um, 
just do something like as far as communicating with them and giving them attention so i just explained why that's really important but attention is very important like you know spending time with them seeing them taking them places you know um just the whole shebang anything that has to do with attention i know what you know you have to know what attention means attention means calling texting something or another you know what i mean like women love attention okay then i put spoil because um before recently i was in relationships with people who did not spoil the hell out of me they didn't give me love languages communication time and guess where they all are their exes <laughs> but spoil so spoils not meaning like go out of your way and spend thousands of dollars every month or three hundred dollars every month i think that spoiling can be as simple as running a bath water rubbing her back rubbing her feet massaging her hair asking if she needs help for something like you know like just making her feel like she's important and doing things to try to help her out and spoiling can be anything from i'm gonna give you guys an idea okay so spoiling can be like you go to the dollar store. I'm just this is for the brokest of the cheapest nigga, okay? You go to the dollar store, you get her a car, that's like I love you so much. You write down some really thoughtful things, you know, put a little of your little juice in it. You know, get her a dollar rose or a thing of flowers at Walmart. They're like seven dollars. And randomly just do that like once a month. Bring her some flowers, bring her some a card, you know, like anything like it could be so small it could be just a small gesture it doesn't have to be extravagant but if you need help in that department all look up how to spoil a woman and i swear to god so much stuff will come up so that's important i feel like sex is pretty important for most women or most relationships in general like for me i don't have to have it all the time <laughs> but i feel like in a relationship that that can be a very very important part of a relationship and i feel like you know just make sure that you're having sex with your woman sometimes okay i don't really want to get in too much detail because my last conversation my last video i was talking so much about sex i swear if you took turn my last video into a drinking game my last video said, into a drinking game i probably said sex 30 40 times in the video so um sex is important in a relationship now also um listen listen to her so i've noticed that i've dated people and i'll be like you never come and talk to me you never see me you never spend time with me you never do this and they would listen They'd be like oh okay you know but they'd be like but i'm busy but i'm at work but i'm this but i'm not but i don't have time i swear to god there are superstars who both have active all-day jobs and who are married to other superstars who have active all-day jobs and they manage to give some type of attention some type of something so i felt like oh my god that's an excuse so always listen and don't just listen to respond a lot of men what i've noticed y'all listen just to like have a comeback like oh but i'm doing this but i'm doing that but i'm busy but i'm bored but i'm i don't know whatever i wasn't getting enough of this i who knows but don't just respond like listen and actually listen to what your partner wants and really try to like pay attention to what their needs are so that you can meet their needs and you can keep them okay i'm seeing so many men losing women and vice versa just because you don't know simple like common courtesy you know what i mean just listen and if you don't know write it down she told me that she hates this or whatever and then think about why she might hate that like just really sit there and think about it. think about what your if your mom went through it if your sister went through it think about if if you were in that situation you whatever the case is just always like try to listen and give some type of reaction to what you heard don't just listen and be like whatever fuck it like really listen okay and then also respect respect is can go a long way like a woman wants a guy who's going to be like you're so beautiful you're so pretty not necessarily a man that's going to be like come here bitch now some women like it you know i actually dealt with someone personally who would just randomly like cuss me out and call me bitch and be like get the fuck over here and where the fuck are you like just blame disrespect you know what i mean and i know that some men think that some women like that type of hard stuff but to be honest in the real world we're a female who like just really wants to get married and really just wants that type of foundation and I, like i said i can't speak for every woman because there might be a little women who are a little bit rough around the edges but for the most part i feel like a woman wants someone not that's going to be like just 
I think a woman wants somebody who's going to, you know, like, be respectful and treat her with respect. You know what I mean? A real woman, okay? And if you don't like respect, I'm not saying that you're not a real woman, but that's based off of what I've noticed from people that I've known. They like men to treat them right. Um, and then also compliments. It's so, like, for me, I'm in a relationship right now. And he's so awesome, right? I mean, he tells me every single day that I'm pretty. Every day. Like, he sends me that little emoji. Like, just, I don't know if he has a timer on him or whatnot. But every day, he sends me a little emoji saying how pretty I am. You know, when I'm with him, he tells me how pretty I am. He tells me, like, if I go get makeup or something or go get my eyelashes done. He's like, you know what? I didn't even notice because, you know what? You're gorgeous without it. Like, I didn't even notice that, you know, you're just so stunning. You really don't even need makeup or you don't even need to get your eyelashes done or whatnot like you're just pretty so compliments oh my god it goes such a long way and it doesn't have to be every day but if you want to keep someone you don't want to not make them feel like they're pretty do you know how many men are out there looking for your woman like you let go of a woman that was a really good woman and there's so many men out there that want her so do you not think that they're giving her compliments you know what i mean like if you're her boyfriend and she has all these male friends or all these random guys in the street and when she goes places telling her how beautiful she is like <laughs> just think about it so give a compliment you know it doesn't have to be every day maybe once a month i don't know just Tell the girl she's pretty tell you like her hair her clothes make her feel like she's important to you um romantic gestures so romantic gestures everybody doesn't necessarily have a romance side but i do feel like romantic gestures can definitely get their pants wet um so um a romantic gesture would be like She's like, oh, babe, I'm so, you know, hungry or tired or whatever. And I think I'm a romantic gesture. It's like, okay, babe, you know, come home or whatever. I'm going to make your bubble bath. You know, I'm going to cook you something. I'm going to massage your feet. Like, you don't have to go out to be romantic. But if you need advice with romantic gestures, all you got to do is put in Google how to be romantic to your girlfriend. I swear, so much stuff will come. And I swear to God, like, when you're romantic to them and you give them compliments and you treat them with respect, like, I swear to God, like, any woman who doesn't see that and who doesn't value that does not deserve you. But a real woman, wifey type, is the one that's going to love it and she's going to flourish in it. She's not going to want to let you go. You know what I mean? You doing, look, we're already at what? I don't even know what number this is, but we're already down the list almost. So romance goes a long way. Try it out. Keep a woman. You don't want another man to come around and be more romantic than you are you know you want to do it you want to spice it up every so often you know what i mean um you don't want someone else to come and take your pride and joy you know what i mean because it can't happen you know what i mean and we don't want that to happen we want you to keep your woman i'm trying to teach you how to keep your woman so uh, make her laugh like <laughs> you don't have to be the funniest person in the world i feel like honestly if a woman's interested in you enough you're gonna hear her giggle and chico every so often so i don't think that one's hard but laughing like in general like just making someone's spirit high like at all times when they're with you it just it's such a turn on i swear to god it makes you just like you, you just you feel closer to that person um so always just I don't even want to tell you to even try hard with making her laugh. I think that that's easy. I feel like you men happen to do it all the time regardless. So, um, and let's see. Keep your word. <laughs> that is important. Okay? Because I've dated people who, like, they would not keep their word. Okay? Like, they would be like, oh, you know, tomorrow, you know, I'll come see you or whatever. We can do something. You know, we can go to the movies or something. And tomorrow will come, and I don't hear from. I'm like, trying to break it up with. I'm, <laughs> who do you think I am? <laughs> like, I'm a woman who deserves to be treated with respect and loved and cared about. And I keep my word with you, so I expect the same respect. Like, keeping your word comes with respect. And if you can't keep your word for whatever reason, if, like, let's say you tell her I'm gonna call her you later on tonight, and you can't text her in the morning or whenever you get a chance to say, I'm sorry that I did not do this, but. You know, I'm sorry I didn't do it. I'm sorry. Because, like, my boyfriend, like, you know, he does keep his word. But, like, there was times when, like, you know, if he couldn't call me or couldn't text me or couldn't see me, he would let me know, like, hey, babe, I know I said I was coming over to you. I'm so sorry. I, I wasn't able to. And he usually makes up for it. You know, like, maybe take me out to eat or something. I don't know. He's a great man. Like, oh, my God. It's been a long time coming. I never expected that I would be 
feeling like this. I never expected it. Um, so, um, open up to her. I feel like you don't have to do it right away. Cause I don't like men like to be macho and stuff like that. But if you have a woman who's constantly taking the time out and expressing her feelings and her just everything to you, like, I feel like you should do the same with her. I feel like you should, you know, like... <clears throat> Like, I'm trying to explain it in the best way possible. So, if she's taking the time out of her day to, like, tell you, oh, I love you, I miss you, I care about you, um, and, you know, I have problems with my self-esteem, or I have problems with this, of course, listen, not just to respond, actually listen to her, you know what I mean, and see why she has self-esteem issues, see if there's something you can do about it. But back to what I was saying, so when you open up to her, when she tells you something, tell her something, like... She's like, oh, you know, I'm insecure about certain things. Like, you don't have to be insecure, babe. Like, I love you for the way that you are. Um, I have insecurities too, or I dealt with my insecurities, or I, you know, like to do this sometimes. I mean, you know, of course, like, don't go completely off subject, but, and you don't have to do it right when she says it, but at some point, if you notice that she's opening up to you, also open up to her. It'll make her feel like you're on the same page as her, and you don't have to worry about losing her. Um be sensitive to our feelings that's a big one so i've noticed that i used to always like just cussing people out guys out like you didn't see me for a whole week a month like what kind of relationship you don't call you don't text you don't like you stay consistent one minute then you stop that's a big one it, consistency stay consistent sorry that's gonna be number 16 it's gonna roll over to 16 but stay consistent but you know like as far as um being sensitive is like apologizing apologize for what you do apologize for how you say it if something hurts her feelings regardless if you know or don't know if somebody feels some type of way about something that you did that means that it's a problem so it means that you need to correct your problem by apologizing and seeing what you can do to make things better um so being sensitive and like i said you know um compromise um so a lot of times in relationships there's times where you know she's like i don't want you to go see them i just want you to stay with me and just give me all the attention so i feel like in relationships like that it's best to like tell her like you know babe okay you know like maybe i can see you these days or maybe i can see you those days or you know like maybe i can call you more often or you know whatever like just compromise like you know what i mean if you don't know what compromise means google what compromise and how to compromise in a relationship and so much stuff will come up you guys i'm creating gentlemen now i'm creating gentlemen we are going to be gentlemen we're going to keep our women get married stay happy and be successful in our relationships um and then uh, i think i said the attention part so i just want you guys to know that it's okay, you know, to feel like you don't know how the answers to everything and how to deal with stuff. I feel like if you incorporate these 15 steps that you can have a successful relationship. I really do. And I feel like relationships take time, they take energy, they take strength, and they're not always easy. Like sometimes there's times where you're going to have to sacrifice and do something that you don't want to do or do something that, you know, um, or do something that not do something that you want to do you know what i mean like sometimes you know commitment and love and being in a relationship takes that you know what i mean like let's say that you're just you know um an alcoholic and when you're an alcoholic you become uh, emotionally abusive to her well you know she's telling you she has a problem you know maybe limit it to a couple of drinks a day or i mean shoot okay i'll give you all my example so i feel like when i drink i start just being like the same stuff right and so what I started doing, because I'm like, okay, I had more than five drinks or whatever. So I started like giving myself a number of drinks that I'll have, you know, when I do go drink or whatever. And I would write them. I would literally just put one, two, like I would mark down each shot or drink that I had. And I'll make sure that I don't go too far. Um, and therefore I stay sober. I still get the drink. I still get my buzz. And then I'm not too intoxicated to know, to be, to be too mean and to not remember what I said. Anyways, I hope that these tips help you. Um, let me know. Share with me a time where, you know, you struggled with trying to keep a woman. Share with me, you know, um, if you followed any of these steps. Share with me if you like this content. Share with me if you want more videos like this. If you give me, if I get seven likes, 
seven likes I'll make another video about how to keep a woman and how to keep your woman satisfied. So we can go, we can go so far with this, you know what I mean? Because I'm a woman, so I know. <laughs> so it doesn't apply to everyone, but it does apply to the majority of women. We like these things, you know what I mean? So let's let's do better. Okay. Y'all have a nice night. Bye. Y'all have a nice night. Bye.